What is rhythmic gymnastics? Rhythmic gymnastics consists of using balls, hoops, ropes, clubs, ribbons and tassels. Rhythmic gymnastics is not only about talent but also hard work. You must be flexible but strong too. You need to have stamina because sports consist of all five events which are hoop, ball, clubs, ribbon, and rope. You need to be able to jump and stretch and also have balance. Is rhythmic gymnastics hard? The answer is yes and no. It depends on how you look at it. Rhythmic gymnastics is a sport that requires mind, body, and soul. In order to master this sport, one must have tremendous discipline, courage, and dedication. It has been said that rhythmic gymnasts start as young as three years old. For those of us who didn't begin until we were teenagers or adults may find ourselves struggling to catch up with the little girls who started so early in life. But I believe that if we work hard, we can catch up and be just as good, or even better, than those who started when they were three. The sport itself is not easy. Rhythmic gymnastics combines dance, agility, flexibility, strength, and grace to create an art form that can be appreciated by both young and old alike. Every movement that is performed on the track has a meaning. It tells a story or conveys an emotion of some sort. The music adds another dimension to this sport, allowing the gymnast to bring her performance to life. Is rhythmic gymnastics a sport? Yes and no. It is a sport, Sports equals competitive physical activity requiring skill or physical prowess and often of a competitive nature, but it seems to be more like an art form since the athletes do much acrobatics with balls, hoops, ribbons, and their bodies which has to lead some people to classify as such. Having said this, there are sports that share some aspects with rhythmic gymnastics but they haven't considered sports due to lack of competitiveness. In general, I would say that all sports have their own technique but rhythmic gymnastics has a very particular technique that makes it different from most other sports. This can make people think that it is not a sport but an art form. Rhythmic gymnastics is a sport that requires great technical trainers as well as a good physique. Despite being considered an art, rhythmic gymnastics has been confused with figure skating since it shares some aspects of it and also because many skaters have started to do some acrobatics with balls and hoops. There are also people who think that it is similar to a trampoline. Is rhythmic gymnastics dangerous? The answer is yes and no. It all depends on the athlete and the coach. This is the same for any sport, not just rhythmic gymnastics. Some people can be injured playing basketball or professional football, whilst other athletes are able to compete until their 40s, although this is rare. It also depends on factors like training, nutrition, the coach's personality and approach to training, etc. A coach can have a very dangerous coaching technique or can use dangerous gymnastic apparatus whilst still being aware that their practices are dangerous. The negative effects of overtraining cannot be underestimated in rhythmic gymnastics. Whilst there are many risks involved in playing basketball or professional football, the risks involved in training are not known to many people outside of the world of elite sport. Every coach should know these risks, but some coaches prefer to hide anything that could be termed dangerous from their athletes. This is always a very worrying situation for any athlete, especially an underage athlete who looks up to their coach for guidance and protection. It is important that parents are aware of these dangers, but they cannot do anything about them if the coach has control over the gymnast's career. Is rhythmic gymnastics expensive? The short answer is yes. The long answer requires some explanation. Rhythmic gymnastics equipment, also known as rhythmic ribbon, costs a lot of money. But before you can get there, you should know that not all the ribbon gymnasts are the same. There are levels ranging from beginner to professional and they will all use different, and most likely more expensive equipment. At the high end of this sport, or any other sport involving gymnastics, we have the rhythmic gymnasts that compete at world championships and Olympics.